Hello, and thank you for joining this free search engine optimization training about how consumers start the buying process online. And the biggest question is, are they finding your website? Now, this is brought to you by your team, the Georgia Web Warrior. If you have any questions, definitely reach out. We've got our email listed here. We've got our Calendly. We can schedule a consultation call with you. Let's have a discussion about what all this looks like for your organization. But at the very least, we hope that this is valuable for you as we talk about why it's important to be on the first page of Google. Because when consumers go to start their buying process, their buying journey, they're starting it online. And so that is absolutely why you need to be on that first page of Google. Because the vast majority of consumers, when they do start that buying journey that they're going to go through, the vast majority of them start online. And when they start clicking around online, the vast majority of clicks are on the organic listings, the organic rankings on that first page of Google. Now, those organic rankings, usually when we talk to uh, prospective clients and uh, clients about uh, showing up on Google, sometimes the response is, oh, I, all, I know all about uh, search engine optimization and things like that. It's those ads on Google. So there's confusion actually out in the marketplace that um, what exactly search engine optimization is, and we'll define that here. But uh, as we, we look at this, you have your paid ads on Google, and those are known as pay-per-click or PPC. And so uh, if you're needing something uh, quick and to get up there and have some exposure, that's definitely where a paid ad might come into place. But uh, as, as consumers are clicking around, the vast, vast majority of those clicks are actually uh, skipping over the paid ads and they're clicking on the organic rankings. And these are the non-sponsored ads, or non-sponsored ads, these are the non-sponsored rankings uh, that just simply show up as an organic ranking on Google, which is a little bit lower down the page. Now, there's a sales guru out there by the name of Jeffrey Gittimer, and he often says that people hate to be sold, but they love to buy. And I think that that adage rings true here when we're looking at the first page of Google. No one wants to be, quote unquote, sold, so to speak. And so sometimes that's where paid ads are, are skipped over. Now, don't get me wrong. Paid ads absolutely have their space. And if that's something that you need to, uh, to have some exposure quickly, uh, we can definitely have that discussion. In fact, a lot of times uh, our clients are using paid ads and search engine optimization at the same time so that as they build their organic rankings, which is more of a marathon approach, uh, their paid ad budget uh, might shift over to the organic uh, budget there for their search engine optimization, which has that longevity built into it. And the reason why all that uh, comes together here is that uh, it, we call that search engine optimization. And that stands for uh, the work that goes into getting a website to show up on that first page of Google. That's what search engine optimization is, or for short, it's SEO, SEO. Again, that's work that goes into a website to getting on, on the first page of Google. Now, you and I might look at your site and we might say, hey, you know, your site looks great. But the biggest question is, does Google think that your site looks great? All right. And so uh, the work that went into actually building your website is different than the work that uh, goes into getting your site on Google. Does that make sense? So there's two types of work here that we're talking about. You probably put a lot of time and energy, and if not, we can have that discussion about what a new website would look like for you. But uh, you probably put a lot of time and energy, usually uh, is the case, of getting your website built. Now we need that uh, work to be shifted over to getting that uh, site to show up on that first page of Google. So how is that done? We're going to talk about what the two most important things to Google are. And that comes down to relevance and trust. Does Google think that your site is the most relevant source of information when it comes to products and services that you have to offer? And then the second part of that is trust. Does Google trust your site? Are there other third-party sources that are linking back to your site that show a form of trust or domain authority around your site? So what does that look like? Let's peel the layers back. Let's go a little bit deeper into that. So relevance is if you're the most relevant source of information, in fact, this is those sites that are showing up on that first page of Google based off your search, Google wants to return to you the most relevant source of information to be that, that trusted source for you, the consumer. And so uh, relevance is what's on your actual website. And relevance can come in a variety of different ways, but it's some of the coding of your site without getting real technical, it's some of the content on your site, how fast does your site load, does it look good, to, regardless if I'm on uh, a cell phone, a tablet, or a PC there, do you have analytics and things tied into your site? And then have you uh, gone through your site and made sure that 
the the title tags and things like that the the way things are named on there so videos and images are they just image one two three four five uh just like they're coming off of our phones these days or is it an actual description of what that is so in other words is google just seeing a bunch of blank space or are they seeing you know dedicated relevant sources of content on your website that's what google is looking for to make sure that your site is relevant and that's what's actually on your website uh, and so now we're going to shift over to trust, and that trust is built from a variety of different things over a, a period of time. That can come in the form of a variety of different ways, as I mentioned. These are just a few here, but custom articles that have been written, or engaging in an article that links back to your site, or a blog post. Most people are familiar with blogs. Sometimes you have a blog on your site. Sometimes you have a blog off of your website, and that blog can link back to your website. Uh, website bookmarking, infographics, and business directories. You know, Google wants to see consistency across the board. So if your address is 600 North, is it spelled out 600 N-O-R-T-H, or is it 600 N period? And does it say that in the dozens and dozens of local business directories around your area? Okay, so there's a lot of the little things that go into all these things that, um, that, uh, that take time to do, and you are an expert in your business, so why not partner with an expert who can do all these things so that you don't have to be that SEO expert, that website building expert and all that, because you're the expert in your space. And I definitely want to champion that as the more specialized and niche that you get in your space, uh, the more quality of a client that you're going to receive, right? And so a lot of this, uh, at this point, a lot of times uh, clients are asking, well, what does that process look like? You know, if we get under the hood, how, does that, how, does, how do you go about doing that? But the first thing you want to do if you're going to partner with someone to do a search engine optimization is have them do a solid audit of your website. And then you can start to look at the, what types of keywords are going to make the most sense. Uh, a lot of times uh, this is uh, opposite of, hey, I want to dominate for such and such keywords or keyword phrases for my area. What's it going to take? And with search engine optimization, uh, we really need to figure out what's going to be the best to, to get in the lane of the consumers that are searching for that. So while we can appreciate wanting to go after and dominate for specific uh, types of keywords, we've got to make sure that we can do a solid site audit and a keyword selection. Through that process, obviously, we're, we're going to get to that point of identifying what types of keywords to go for. And once we do, that's when we start looking at the on-site optimization. What tweaks need to be made to your website to make it that relevant source of information as we talked about? And then moving forward over time, over the next several months, we want to start building that trust, that offsite optimization. And you want to partner with a team that's going to give you real-time reporting so that you can be aware of what's going on. Again, you don't have to be the expert in all these things, but you can be aware of what's going on. And then now over that time, as you have that relevance and then that trust working together for you, you're going to see an improvement of rankings. And ultimately, hopefully your phone's going to ring, your more inquiries are coming in, and that's going to translate to increased sales for your business. So how long does that process take? Well, over the first month or so, you know, if you're building a site, you want to get that buttoned up. And then uh, we can start working on the on-site optimizations. And remember, building the site and doing the work for SEO are two different things. And so uh, once that site is built, now we can start working on those on-site optimizations, laying that foundation to start building trust. Over the next several months, you're going to see that improvement in your rankings as you start building that trust because you're a relevant source of information. And the ultimate goal is get you to rank within the next six to nine months, all, ideally six months, ranking on that first page of Google. And then once you're there, you want to dominate uh, and stay on top of your competition so that you don't drop off of page one. And this is simply what it takes to compete in your marketplace with the products and services that you have to offer. Well, how much does it cost? That's obviously the next question that you're probably thinking right now. In fact, a lot of clients will call up and just say, how much does it cost without understanding some of the nuances of building that relevance and that trust? And so there's two main factors that come into cost. It's market competitiveness and industry competitiveness. And so uh, from a very high level, we're kind of talking about if I'm in a smaller competitive market, uh, a smaller competitive industry, a smaller budget might be you know, a better fit for me. Uh, what does that look like? Well, that could range anywhere from five hours a month of search engine optimization up to maybe around 20 hours a month of search engine optimization. It kind of just depends. And so you know, discussing these unique needs for your business is uh, a great next step there. As we look at uh, that discussion there, you know, sometimes these smaller uh, market, smaller budget types of businesses that we work with, if you've prided yourself on, uh, you know, building your business off of referrals, if you have either yourself or maybe just a handful of employees or maybe um, you're a, a single location, maybe you've got a basic website, a basic logo, but really haven't done much beyond that in your branding and marketing and things. A lot of times that's kind of where we're seeing some of these uh, smaller market, smaller budget kind of fit into there, the, those types of personas. Now, on the, the flip side of that, if you're a more competitive industry, a more competitive um, market that you're in, 
a larger budget. And we're going to see this as sometimes a single single location, sometimes it's multiple locations. You've probably done a pretty good job at branding and um, and PR and things like that uh, with your marketing and things. And you probably already have some sort of a marketing budget that you're actively doing uh, some existing marketing now beyond just simply building a website and, and having it there. But uh, you're actively doing other things, whether it's pay-per-click or even search engine optimization with another organization or uh, a variety of different uh, marketing tactics, radio, uh, TV, mailers, or, or social media, and, and all those things. And so it's great to have a discussion about what that might look like for you, just to make sure that you are competing in the uh, proper way to show up on that first page of Google uh, in today's crowd and marketplace. And so uh, what goes into that cost? Again, we're talking about relevance, uh, building those the relevant source of information. Uh, and again, this is just Hi, from a high level, but uh, updating, you know, some tweaks to the website and uh, some of the title tags, image descriptions, and so on there, and making sure you have a uh, good copy. Google loves, loves, loves copy and content and things like that. And so, fresh content and those types of things are going to help uh, improve your your relevance on your actual website. And then building that trust, and it's those links from third-party sources linking back to your business as that trusted source of information. Again, this is just a handful of uh, areas that. Um, you know, might consider in, in doing those tactics that build that trust. But uh, it's great to have the discussion about what that looks like for you. At the end of the day, you know, you want to make sure that you're going to partner with um, a team that's going to do the highest quality work with the budget that you have to work with. And uh, you also want to make sure that they're bringing transparency into that work. You know, a lot of our clients are talking to us and they're saying, hey, I've used a local person. They, 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 they said they're a great SEO person. Uh, I really liked them, but I didn't have any idea of what exactly they were doing. They couldn't really show me or showcase what they were doing real well. Or they said, you know, I've, I've used other sources that um, – uh, were, were kind of strange because uh, the only way to get in contact with them was uh, kind of in the late hours of the night based off of time zones and, and things like that. So that was challenging too. And so you want to make sure you're going to partner with someone that's going to bring that full transparency into the work that you're doing. Maybe funnel all that up into a, a reporting dashboard that's easy for you to, to, to read and understand, but still be the expert in your space without having to become the expert uh, at uh, all this digital marketing stuff. And you want to also make sure that you're partnering with a team that's going to do that full service for you. Uh, you know, you don't have to be the expert in tweaking your website. You just need to, you know, make sure that you have access to tweak the website. And, uh, you know, we can assist with that. You want to partner with someone that can assist with that, of making some of these tweaks uh, after you do that website audit to, uh, to make sure that your site is the most relevant source of information it can be. You also want to make sure that you're partnering with a team that's going to knock out some of those uh, off-site marketing tactics to build that trust on an ongoing basis. Google loves to see that. You also want to make sure that you're partnering with someone that's going to monitor your performance 24-7 and give you a pulse on, on where things are at overall uh, as you go throughout the course of your campaign leading up to that, that journey of getting to that first page of Google, which can be about a, a six-month is our ultimate goal, but six to nine months is a, a pretty fair assessment there based off of the, the budget that you have to work with and your market and your industry and those types of things. But we hope this was helpful for you. Uh, definitely, if you have some questions, we'd love to find some answers for you. Definitely reach out to us at the Georgia Web Warrior, and let's have these conversations with you and see what this looks like for your organization. Hey, thanks so much for joining. We look forward to speaking with you soon.